In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Bespin Luke from Empire Strikes Back. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to 1-6 Figure Focus and in this video, which is episode number 12 of Triple Threat, which is a playlist, a series of videos that I have pushed out over the summer. So what's a Triple Threat? It's a figure where I love the character, love the source material, and love that particular version of the character. I love the character Luke Skywalker, absolutely. Original trilogy, Star Wars, Star Wars, that's where it started, and it's definitely a lot better than what uh, the Acolyte's been pushing out lately. Um, it is from, do I like the source material? It's Empire Strikes Back. It's Empire Strikes Back, of course I do. And then finally, uh, do I like this version? This is actually one of the most iconic versions of Luke Skywalker, I believe, because it's from the best movie. It's when he first actually uh, has a showdown, a lightsaber battle against um, Darth Vader. And then, of course, obviously, Darth Vader reveals that, in fact, he is Luke's father. And it's very atmospheric because what's really, it's actually one of my favorite lightsaber battles. It might not be the best choreograph that probably live action goes to the Duel of Fates in episode one. But in terms of, like, um, the just the, the cinematography you have the blue lightsaber casting out that blue light you have the red lightsaber of Vader casting out the red light you have the kind of lighting as seen here in the the base as well from Besbin and in the freezing chamber and stuff like that uh, yeah and of course just it's just like it was very dark as well and he was out of his depth and I really really uh, appreciated it uh, just the sum of its parts so let's take a quick look at this. That's what it looks like in the Blaleedon. I haven't done any special posing or anything for these videos. Literally what it looks like. This is it after opening the door so there's no glass in between the camera and the figure itself. Absolutely stunning piece. Obviously this is not the Hot Toys stock lightsaber. This is a CCFL which I ordered from Art15 Customs. I have four of them. I've got this one, two Ahsoka ones which you can kind of see the reflection if you look up above um, Besman Luke's head. You can see because I think... Uh, yeah. Ahsoka's above, you can see the reflection of those bouncing off the glass, and um, of course it's USB powered base as well. I typically don't use bases, but the bases I do use are more environmental. For example, this one or either side of this guy, I have two of those Hot Toys MMS 736 Stormtrooper bases. There's a Stormtrooper in one, I think. Uh, yeah, Alec Guinness Obi-Wan's on the other, but they light up their environmental, they add to part of the scene, they're not just a random hexagon or something like that, or God forbid the sand base. But um, yeah, I think this looks incredible, I think the CCFL sets it off, it's nice to incorporate the, uh, I know, I'm pretty sure Luke was right handed, but it's nice to incorporate the uh, lightsaber in the left hand, and then the, the Besman, or sorry, the, 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 the Besman, the, um, the blaster in the right hand, it says a DL44, I'm not sure if that's right or not, it's at the back of mind there, fact check me there in the comment section. Yeah, it looks incredible. So, head sculpt, I think it's one of the best, uh, one of the better um, Mark Hamill head sculpts they've done. I think it's probably one of their best um, Mark Hamill head sculpts that they've done. Comes out with a swap out hairpiece as well, it's kind of like the wet look, but I prefer this one. A lot of people think this one is particularly clean, like it should be wetted a bit. Probably should be wetted a bit, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, um, doesn't bother me at all. I think it's, I still think they've good head sculpt. I like that they have uh, two hair pieces. This one I do believe is the better one. Um, I really like the tailoring. It's, it's quite tight in them, but I really, uh, I really like it. Yeah, head sculpt's pretty good. Comes with separate rolling eyeballs features as well, if I do remember. That's just the hilt of the Art 15 custom uh, Besbin Luke blue lightsaber. I'm um, just showing this because even though it is pleather and you have to kind of manage your uh, the temperature in your collection room, make sure there's no direct light, um, the less you hand it the better so no oils go off your fingers onto the, the, the pleather material or whatever it's made from, I'm pretty sure it is pleather. Um, and you know, control humidity and stuff like that. Thankfully in Ireland, it's just that uh, it never really gets extremely cold, never gets extremely hot. But yeah, the temperature does fluctuate, but usually it's not extremely hot or cold. So I don't really have the temperature or humidity issue. And I tend not to repose the figures unless absolutely necessary. And uh, maybe, you know, every now and then so, some figures I've had the same pose for years. And some figures I might repose every three months or something like that. So, um... Yeah, some are just more exciting to pose than others. But this one here, I really like the belt. Just the belt itself, the buckle, the holster on the side, and even the strap that goes around the right thigh and all those kind of packages and stuff like that just adds to the detail and the realism of this particular piece. Just had to give a acknowledgement to Hot Toys here. This is, I think, this is my favourite base that they've done. It's environmental. It looks like it's part of Besbin, because it is part of Besbin. They did a good job. The two generators in the back light up white. The uh, floor he's standing on lights up that kind of, it's like a red-orange. 
really, really cool stuff. Definitely with the CCFL, um, just adds to it as well. But I mean, it detaches as well. So you can have, you can just use the two white towers in the back with the white light, or you could just use the uh, the the round base with the red and orange glow if you want, or you can use um, both of them like I have. I just think it looks incredible. Just back to this one again, just to appreciate that. Um, yeah, and it looks even better in person, to be honest. Yeah, because uh, you see a lot of um, reflection here, which you don't see as much uh, in person. So let's move on to this. Um, yeah, again, just having a look at that base again. And uh, that's pretty much it. So just, just if look, <laughs> it's Luke Skywalker. Great character from a great movie. One of the best movies ever made. Uh, definitely one of the best science fiction movies ever made. And um, it's, it's a great version. I have three Lukes. They're all very different though. But I um, really particularly appreciate this one. So look, that's the end of the video. If you want to support the channel, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know if you like this particular loot. Do you have this loot or do you have another favorite loot? You can also consider becoming a channel member and supporting the channel in that additional way. And check out some of the other videos in the Triple Threat playlist that I've already released. And some ones, some more that are scheduled. They should be on the channel there as well. Yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram. And next, that's it. That's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck.